And uh, I gather it was called Rail Force One. Is that right? Yeah, that's how we finally call it. Rail Force One was born when Biden came to Kiev. And it looked very smart. I mean, I, I think the, the conference table inside and uh, all the, the facilities, I assume that obviously you had to make uh, huge security provisions to get this uh, to get through into Kiev. Well, security of our guests is our priority. We already got about 300 official delegations coming under Iron Diplomacy program and uh, bringing them in and out safely is our key priority. This case was, as I say, said, complicated, but we finally done it. Yeah, and uh, clearly underlining the importance that the rail network and the infrastructure has for the country. And we've got this news that there's £10 million in help on its way uh, from the UK. And I think this is to help with things such as temporary bridges and lining tunnels and so on to be able to keep the trains running. I'm, indeed, I'm grateful to Rail Network for what they do for us. They were probably one of the first railways from European Union uh, standing with us and ready to help. We already got the first uh, delegation from Rail Network coming to Ukraine and uh, happy to uh, feel uh, their real support from Railways family from the European Union and from yeah. the UK. And, and give us an indication of, of what sort of state the, the network is in, given all the aerial bombardments you've been suffering. Well, we got about 12,000 damages of railway infra. You can imagine that's complicated. That makes our work harder. But finally, we always find a way how to fix and get back to operations, get back to keep running. And this extraordinary statistic, nine out of ten trains still running on time, just to remind our commuters here, compared to seven out of ten here in Britain, how on earth do you do it? Well, uh, two days ago when President Biden came to Kiev, it was a painful day for me because we had to delay uh, several trains, like a dozen trains, and uh, finally we had to do it to make Rail Force One arrive safely, arrive on time. Uh, I apologized uh, because we had to make this on-time performance better even those days. And uh, usually we got slightly higher than 90%. Some yeah. days we got even 98% of our trains arriving on time. But uh, it happened that uh, to bring him safely and on time we had to be quite strict with the security protocols. Mm. So we had to delay our trains. I apologize for that. Well, there may be one or two rail franchises up for grabs here in Britain soon, including TransPennine. Maybe you in Ukraine there might have a thought about coming to join us over in Britain and showing us how to do it. But Alexander, thank you for your time uh, and, of course, uh, your sterling efforts looking after President Biden. Thanks for your time here in GB News.